Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna and this is day 3 of Bokoween and we'll be talking about dark academia. Let's get going. So my first book is Vita Nostra by Mariana Dianchenko, Sergei Dianchenko, Julia Mito Hansi, who is the translator. Our life is brief. While vacationing get the beach with the mother, Sasha Samokini, Kenya meets the mysterious father Korsenikov. Under the most peculiar circumstances, the teenage girl is powerless to refuse when the strange and unusual man with an air of the sinister directs her to perform a task with potentially scandalous consequences. He rewards her with a strange golden coin. As the days progress, Sasha carries out other acts for which she receives more coins from Korsenikov. As summer ends, her dominating mentor directs her to move to a remote village and use her gold to enter the Institute of Special Technologies. Though she does not want to go to this unknown town or school, she also feels it's the only place she should be. Against her mother's wishes, Sasha leaves behind all that is familiar and begins her education. My next book is Truly Devious by Marie Johnson. Ellingham Academy is a famous private school in Vermont for the brightest thinkers, inventors, and artists. It was founded by Albert Ellingham, an early 20th tycoon who wanted to make a wonderful place full of riddles, twisting pathways, and gardens, a place, he said, where learning is a game. Shortly after the school opened, his wife and daughter were kidnapped. The only real clue was a mocking riddle listing methods of learning, signed with the frightening pseudonym Truly devious, it became one of the great unsolved crimes of American history. True Crimes of a Physician Bill, Stevie Bell, is set to begin her first year at Ellingham Academy, and she has an ambitious plan. She will solve this cold case. That is, she will solve the case when she gets a grip on her demanding new school life and her housemates. The inventor, the novelist, the actor, the artist, and the jokester. But something strange is happening. Truly devious makes a surprise return, and then Fiend visits Ellingham Academy. The past has crawled out of its grave. Someone has gotten away with murder. My next book is They Never Learn by Lane Fargo. Scarlet Clark is an exceptional English professor, but when she's even better at getting away at murder, Every year she searches for the worst man of Goldman University and plots his well-deserved demise. Thanks to her meticulous planning, she's avoided drawing attention to herself. But, she, as she's been preparing for her biggest kill yet, the school starts probing into the growing body count on campus. Determined to keep her enemies close, Scarlet insinuates herself into the investigation and charms the woman in charge, Dr. Mina Pierce. Everything's going according to her master plan until she loses control with the latest victim, putting her secret life at risk exposure. My next book is A Study in Drowning by Ava Reed. Evie Sayer has always believed in fairy tales. She had no choice. Since childhood, she's been haunted by visions of the fairy king. She's found solace only in the pages of Uncle Han, author Emily's Merwin, Merwin's beloved epic about a mortal girl who falls in love with the fairy king and then destroys him. Effie's tattered, dark eared copy is all that's keeping her afloat through her st stifling first term at Leah's prestigious architecture's college. So when Mimidon's family announces a contest to design the late Arthur's house, Effie feels certain that this is her destiny. But here at Manor is an impossible task, a mostly discreet estate on the brink of crumbling into a hungry sea. And when Effie arrives, she finds she isn't the only one who has made a temporary home there. Preston Hillary, a stodgy old young literature scholar, is studying Nimitin's papers and is determined to prove her favorite author is a fraud. My next book is The Starless Sea by Erin Morgenstern. Zachary Ezra Wallens is a graduate student in Vermont when he discovers a mysterious book hidden in the stacks. As he turns the pages and by tales of well-worn prisoners, Keen collectors and nameless isolates, he means something strange, a story from his own childhood. Bewildered by this inexplicable book and desperate to make sense of how his own life came to be recorded, Zachary uncovers a series of clues, a bee, 
I can at the store, the led him to a masculine party in New York to a secret club, and threw a down way into an ancient library hidden far below the surface of the earth. What Safi finds in this curious place is more than just a buried home for books and the guardians. It is a place of lost cities and seas, lovers who pass notes under doors and across time, and of stories whispered by the dead. Safi learns of those who have sacrificed much to protect his realm, relinquishing the site and talks to preserve this archive, and also of those who were intent on its destruction. My next book is The Secret History by Donna Tartt. Under the influence of the charismatic, charismatic classics, Professor Good with clever aesthetic misfits at an enlightened New England college discover a way of thinking and living that is a world away from the humdrum existence of the contemporaries. But when they go beyond the boundaries of normal mortality, morality, and they slip gradually from deception to corruption and betrayal, and at last and exemplarily into evil. My next book is Playing Bad Humorites by Emily M. Danforth and Sarah Lotman is the illustrator. Our story begins in 1902 in the Brook Hat School for Girls. Flo and Clara, two impressionable students, are obsessed with each other and with a daring young writer named Mary McLean, the author of scandalous best-selling best-selling memoir. To show their devotion to Mary, the girls establish their own private club and call it the Plain Bad Humoring Society. They meet in secret in the nearby Apple Orchard, the setting of the wildest happiness and ultimately of the macabre deaths. This is when the bodies are later discovered with a copy of Mary's book, Splained Beside Them, the victims of a swarm of stinging, angry yellow jackets. Less than five years later, the book High School for Girls closes its doors forever but not before three more people mysteriously die on the property, each in the most troubling way. My next book is The Ninth, Ninth House by Leah Bardugo. This is number one in Alex Stern. Galaxy Alex Stern is the most unlikely member of Yale's freshman class, raised in the Los Angeles, Angeles Hinderland, raised in the L.A. Henderlands by a hippie mom, Alex dropped out of school early into a world of shady drug dealer boyfriends, dead end jobs, and much worse. By age 20, in fact, she is the sole survivor of a horrific, unsolved, multiple homicide. Some might say she has thrown her life away, but at her hospital bed, Alex is offered a second chance to attend one of the world's most elite universities on a full ride. What's the catch and why her? My next book is The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. The circus arrives without warning. No one, no announcements precede it. It is simply there when yesterday it was not. Within the black and white strip cannabis tents is an utterly unique experience full of breathtaking amazements. It is called Less Circuit Than It Is and is only open at night. But behind the scenes, a fierce competition is underway, a duel between two young magicians, Celia and Marco, who have been trained since childhood expressly for this purpose by the mercurial instructors. Unbeknownst to them, this is a game in which only one can be left standing. And the circus is, the, is but the stage for a remarkable battle of imagination and will. Despite themselves, however, Celia and Marco tumble head first into love, a deep, magical love that makes the lights flicker and the room grow warm whenever they so much as brush hands. The next book is The Maidens by Alex McAleans. Edwin Fosca is a murderer. Of this, Mariana is certain, but Fosca is untouchable, a handsome and charismatic a Greek tragedy professor at Cambridge University. Fosca is adored by staff and students alike particularly by the members of the Sacred Society of Female Students known as the Maidens. Mariana Andros is a brilliant but troubled group therapist who becomes fixated on the Maidens when one member, a friend of Mariana's niece, Zoe, is from Merlin in Cambridge. Mariana, who was once herself a student at the university, quickly suspects that behind the indelic beauty of the spires and turrets and beneath the ancient traditions lies something sinister. And she becomes convinced that despite his alibi, Edward Fosca is guilty of the murder. 
But why would the professor target one of his students, and why does he keep returning to the rights of his family, the maiden, and her journey to the underworld? My next book is Curious Tides by Pascal Lassell, and this is number one in Drum Gods. Emily might be a student at the prestigious Aldry College for Lunar Magics, but her healing abilities have always been medical at best, until a treacherous night in the Dovermere Sea Caves leaves a group of her classmates dead, and her as the only survivor. Now Emily is plagued by strange, impossible powers that no healer should possess. Powers that ruin her life if the wrong person were to discover them. To gain control of these new abilities, Emily enlists the help of the school's most inclusive student Buzz, a boy already well versed in the deadly nature of darker magic, whose sister happened to be one of the drowned students and Emily's best friend. Determined to find the truth behind the drownings and the cult-like secret society she's convinced her classmates were involved in, Emily is faced with even more questions when the supposedly drowned students start washing ashore alive, only for them each immediately to die horrible magical fits. And my last book is Blood Over Bright Heaven by Anne L. Wong. And often since the age of four, Sikonia has always had more to prove than her fellow students. For 20 years, she has devoted every waking moment to the study of magic, fueled by a mad desire to achieve the impossible, to be the first woman ever admitted to the high magistry. When she finally crossed her way up the ranks to become a high mage, however, she finds that her challenges have just begun. Her new colleagues will stop at nothing to let her know she is unwelcome, beginning with giving her a janitor instead of a qualified lab assistant. What neither Sakona nor her peers realize is that her taciturn assistant was once more than a janitor before he mopped floors for the mages. Thumil was a nomadic hunter from beyond Thailand's magical barrier. Ten years have passed since he had survived the perilous crossing that killed his family. But working for a high mage, he sees the opportunity to finally understand the forces that decimated his tribe, drove him his home from his homeland, and keep the Tarnash in power. Okay, and those are all the dark academia to read. If you like that genre, let me know if you have read anything from this list, or let me know if you have any other dark academia. So please like, comment, and subscribe so you'll be notified every time I post. And I will see you in my next one. Bye!